Hi, my name is Abdullah. My name is James. We work together in the neurophysiology lab. Our laboratory technique is called the patch clamp, which is used to study single or multiple ion channels in cells. Usually, this technique is used to study cells such as neurons and muscle fibers. However, there is a whole variety of cells that it can be used on. That's right. Not only is the patch clamp usable on cells, but it can also be used to study bacterial ion channels. We start by carefully heating and pulling a small glass or quartz capillary tube. Doing so, a very fine pipette can be formed. When pulled by the machine, the tip will be much smaller than a human hair, and the opening on the end of the pipette may be only one micron in diameter. Then, an electrode is inserted in the pipette. This will allow us to receive signal once we are inside the cell. To impale the cell, scientists can either apply a positive or negative pressure on the hollow pipette, depending on the experiment type. This is usually done by machine, but some scientists do it by mouth. Once the electrode impels the cell membrane, the intracellular fluid in the pipette makes for a smooth transition into the cell and is followed by the membrane patching onto the electrode. To measure cell activity, it is necessary to make good contact between the pipette and the cell membrane. So once good contact is made, we're able to record ion channels opening and closing. This discovery made it possible to record the currents of single ion channels for the first time, proving their involvement in fundamental cell processes such as action potential conduction. In our lab, we're concerned with a network of coupled neurons in the pre or complex of the medulla that generates a bursting rhythm. This underlies the inspiratory phase of respiration. So in some of these neurons, bursting persists even when synaptic coupling in the network is blocked and respiratory rhythmic discharge stops.